post-pregnancy, some women actually get larger breasts, not very many, but some. And when that happens, their larger breasts are both offensive to them because they're so large and very often they, they're droopy. So let's define some terms. Droopy would seem to be an obvious word, but it's really not. In plastic surgery, there are several different layers or areas of droop. Droop in plastic surgery or in medicine in general, is, you, we use the Latin word ptosis. There are several categories of ptosis of the breast. The first is pseudotosis, where the breast tissue hangs below the inframammary fold, but the nipple and areola are above it. First degree ptosis is when the areola is below the inframammary fold, but the nipple is above the inframammary fold. And the inframammary fold is where the breast hits the chest wall. When the nipple is at, or just a tiny bit below the inframammary fold, that's second degree ptosis. And when the nipple is pointing at the ground or is significantly below the inframammary fold, that's third degree ptosis. Pseudotosis and first degree ptosis can be dealt with very simply by putting a slightly larger implant in. That's number one. Number two, if you have the nipple at the inframammary fold or just a teeny bit below it, very often you can deal with this by doing what's called a dual plane mastopexy. If your nipple is pointing at the ground and you have third degree ptosis, then you definitely want to um, do a formal lift of some kind. You can't just do uh, an internal or non-scarring procedure. You need to make some cuts in the skin, take away some skin, and reposition things.